I do remember all the newspapers and coming home and asking my mum because um, I was nine years old when he died and, and I, her expression was is that he was just a singer and he was vulgar and and she didn't like him because you know he was just not a good role model for young girls. Yeah I remember I was just home one day one Saturday afternoon they used to always put Elvis movies on so this particular time when this was bored and so I just turned it on and um, Easy Come Easy Go was playing and I remember thinking oh he's a bit of a you know handsome young man, he's a bit of a smuck actually, because I was what, this was in 86, so I was um, 15, thinking, oh, this is pretty good. So, mum, who's this? And she goes, that's Elvis. And I went, mum, he can actually sing. And he's really quite cute. When I was at high school, and a lot of people didn't know who Elvis was, and I had a homework diary, and on it I had a picture of Elvis in 56, because that's my Elvis. That's the Elvis I saw, I saw and, and went, this guy can sing, but he's also a spunk. And that's never left me. And people would always ask, who is that photo? And I'd say, it's Elvis. And they didn't believe me because it wasn't the fat Elvis from the 70s. And which is sad because I think a lot, that's the image that we see mostly of Elvis is the, uh, the guy that was addicted to prescri prescription drugs who was surrounded by people who just said yes to everything he, did, he wanted and did and ultimately helped him destroy himself. This is probably my prized possession. Um, other than my autograph, which unfortunately I do not have with me. This is an original 954 Sun single. Uh, it's the fourth in the series. I wanted to have something from the original 50s and unfortunately, as I said, it's very badly damaged, but it's an authentic piece of music history, so I thought I'd better have a piece of it. I must admit, I've never felt closer to Elvis than when I walked into Graceland for the very, very first time. And I went back twice. I went back in um, after, uh, for the candlelight vigil. Um, we stand in line forever and a day to get up to the to lay your flower on, on the grave and you know just walking in you see the graves and you just go hey Elvis I wish you were around mate because you're pretty cool and uh, you know and I think he'd be thrilled to see what's happening now he's probably going up there I was pretty cool back then <laughs>